Hey everyone, it's me, Ace here once again, and this is going to be my honest review on Gravity Rush Remastered. So, the story is a bit strange to start off with, and while it is fun to play, you might lose interest in what's actually happening a bit quicker than most other games. After you awaken in the fictional town called Old Noir, I have no idea if I'm saying that correctly or not, but I'm going to assume I am, so fuck you to anyone who says otherwise. You see the imminent threat of the enemies and start defeating them. There are 21 episodes in the story, and while that might take a casual player a bit more time than anyone else, you can probably finish the story within 3-4 to four days, too if you're very quick in getting things done. As the story progresses, things get a lot more fun and interesting when you start meeting and interacting with new characters, and while some of them are complete dickbags and others you are just going to want to slap, you'll eventually learn what their own motives are. The main enemies of this game are the Nevi, weird black creatures which are created through spatial abnormalities, and no, I'm not referring to gollywogs. The first Nevi you will encounter are very basic and easy, and progressively get more annoying to deal with. I found the flying Nevi the most annoying to deal with. And to kill them, you use your gravity powers to destroy their cores. The main enemy of the game, who is not a Nevi, is called Elias, who is your typical villain who is just wanting to destroy everything, so not much of notable interest right away, but things do pick up eventually. With everything that happens in the story, I enjoyed almost all of it. There were some missions that I found very weird, but still enjoyable. Also, there are DLC packs if you buy this game brand new, and while they aren't part of the main story, they have some nice separate storylines, and you can either choose to complete them or ignore them. I give the story a 7 out of 10. Moving on to gameplay, this is a lot of fun to play, and really fun to enjoy. The one annoying thing you have to do is collect precious gems. As much as a pain as it is to do this, it's how you upgrade your powers and abilities which you'll need to do. One problem, and this is something I had issues with, is when you see the gems floating around the city, you might get a bit distracted into collecting them and you'll keep going. You have to tell those gems to go fuck themselves as there are challenges around the game that aren't hard and you can get gems from completing them and the higher medal you get, the more gems you get. Sadly, you can't repeat challenges to get more gems. With every game, there will always be some form of extra side quest or side mission. With this, it's more preferable to clear them, as the more reputation levels you get, the further you can upgrade your powers. There are multiple places to visit the more you progress, and with Old Noir, I was really taken in by the art style and scenery. Pairing these with the game's gorgeous soundtrack is just sheer bliss. While the enemy design is somewhat lacking, the different variety of Nevi doesn't make it too much of a problem, but I personally think it would have been nice to have a wider variety of enemies. The main source of Cat's power is having the ability to control gravity. This is one of the best things I have experienced in a game, and the controls are great. A lot better than the Vita version. The attacks might seem the same at first, but when you start upgrading, you'll probably lead to using one style of attack over the others. I mainly just kept chaining gravity kicks, and of course there are the special moves. These are the Spiraling Claw, Gravity Typhoon, and the Micro Black Hole. These moves are basically the, I see a fuck ton of enemies, and I defeat a fuck ton of enemies. There are several other places to explore when you unlock them, such as the Rift Planes, but these are mainly story related, so there isn't any point to go back when you finish the missions, unless you want to hunt and kill the rare Nevi that appear. Saying that is a bit of an understatement though, as the only thing that makes them different is that they take a lot more hits to defeat. For gameplay, I give this game a 6 out of 10. Before anyone asks or mentions this in the comment section, yes, I will also be reviewing Gravity Rush 2 at some point. So my overall score for this game is 13 out of 20. I feel comfortable saying this game is worth at least £5, only because it has been out for quite a while now so it isn't worth much, and you can probably find a cheap disc copy online, or the PSN store will sometimes put this game on discount. As you can see, I actually do like this game quite a bit, and I feel it's underrated and underappreciated. Feel free to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. I would also like to clarify that Cobra made me say that. We're now also doing this new thing where we let you know what our fortnightly Friday videos will be ahead of time. So tune in next time for Cobra's review, which will be on Grand Theft Auto V. Have a great day.